What's up guys, my name is Trevor Lovato and I love food. I grew up in a family where food is what always brought us together. Today we're gonna to be checking out Burt's Chuck Wagon in Collinsville, Illinois, and I'm super excited. I hear they have an awesome story. Let's go check it out. That sounds good, I gotta eat that. Nice to meet you, I'm Trevor. I'm Roger, glad to meet you, Trevor. Awesome place we got here. This is a childhood staple for me. I grew up around Collinsville, okay. so just super excited to be back. And it's been a long time since I've been here, actually. We so missed you. Tell me a little bit about how you acquired this place, this, just the history of Burt's. Basically, Burt's Chuck Wagon started in the city of Belleville okay. in the summer of 1963. And I started working for Burt when I was 13, so this is my 60th year doing oh, wow, this. Wow, that's so cool. I worked in Belleville for quite a while, then my brother-in-law acquired the little A-frame that was in Collinsville. Yeah. Um, I went there for several years, and then I was able to buy into a partnership in the Chuck Wagon in Belleville. Oh man, that's cool. And I was there for quite a few years, and then in 1980, this building, the old building in Collinsville became available. Wow. So I purchased it then, and I've been in Collinsville ever since. That's so cool. So, super unique place. I love the diner feel, um, but, Tacos. Tacos in a diner isn't something that you really see a whole lot. Tell me a little bit about tacos and how that is a thing with Burt's and what's so special about that. What like happened that. with Burt's originally when Burt opened the first business in Belleville, it was just barbecue. It was barbecue chicken and ribs and pork steaks and slaw. Well, then in 1965, Burt's name was Umberto Gonzalez, mm. so he was Mexican. So he started tacos, and at that time, okay. nobody had ever heard of tacos. Yeah. In fact, that was about the same time in California that Taco Bell started their wow. tacos. So it started originally with barbecue, and then he added tacos and enchiladas and burritos and tostadas. Wow. And that's how the barbecue and the Mexican got together. That is so cool, because I always remember seeing Burt's Chuck Wagon barbecue. Right. I'd always come in for the tacos. Right. So that's right. super cool. So specialty items. Do you guys have any kind of specialty item that you would say is like an iconic Burt's staple. Over the years, we've had quite a few things. Uh, and I've been thinking about that because I was told to think about that. Uh, we have a brisket nacho. Since oh. we moved up here, uh, originally at the old place, it was mainly the barbecue and the Mexican. And I hired uh, Steve Davenroy, who was a chef. He's been a chef in the area. And I basically told Steve, Steve, keep my menu the same, but whatever you want to put around the perimeter, do it. So he added soups and salads. We've got homemade chicken and dumpling soup, French onion soup, and we added brisket. Oh, so man. we do a real amazing brisket nacho. Yeah. I love brisket. Yeah. I'm excited to try it. I've heard that that was a possibility tonight that we could go into the kitchen and make it. You know, I think somebody might have left some back there for oh, you. Oh man, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Let's go do okay. it. So this is our brisket nachos. We start out with our taco chips and we put our nacho cheese here. Oh man, that looks good. Let me get some good nachos. And this is our smoked brisket. We have a smoker out back. We hickory, oh. we hickory smoke it. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love brisket too. And then we put a little sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce on it. This, okay, is, this, like. this is a Carolina mustard sauce. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, it's a pico. It's a pico. Oh my. There we have it. That's our brisket nachos. I am excited. Thank you very much. That's I'm gonna go try right. it, man. You should go try that. We're here at Burst Chuck Wagon. It's time to finally dig in. It's my favorite part. Let's do it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. We, 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 we have to make this official here. I get my own hat? You got, you got to have your own hat on and eat the brisket nachos. It's going to make it taste better? I don't even know, man. This you know, you look much nicer in that hat. Thank you very much. That's quite all right. I look better like you, man. Well, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to get a little bit of everything. Hold on, let me get a big bite. Got to pick the right chip. This is all about with nachos, you pick the right chip. There we go. Look at that, a little bit of everything on here. Oh, wow. That was good. We okay? That was good, we man. okay. Enjoy. Thank you. That brisket is smoky. A lot of places, it's a, for me personally, it's a hit or miss with barbecue nachos. This is definitely a hit. This is super good. The brisket is juicy and tender. Mm. The nacho cheese mixed with the, the barbecue and the pico is really, really, really good. Mm. Best part about it, I get to wash it down with the best Coca-Cola in the world. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's carbonated and good. It doesn't taste like your average K2 
canned Coca-Cola. That is like a dessert. That is so good. The cherry flavor is super strong. Beautiful. These nachos are so good. I can taste every single thing and every bite. You've got your super crunchy chips. You got the awesome nacho cheese. I love the mixture of the mustard-based barbecue sauce and the ketchup-based barbecue sauce. And then to mix with the pico and the brisket, every bite is just packed with so many layers. Mm. If you're in Collinsville, Illinois, and you're hungry, Burt's is always the best place to go. It's totally worth it, and you gotta eat that.